What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we have some pretty big new Destiny news to go over, and that's because right out of the blue, like I was expecting to make a totally different Destiny video today, but if we got some brand spanking new upgraded Vault of Glass gameplay, I'm sure you guys want to see it, and uh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Again, out of basically nowhere, Destiny decided to upload on its official Instagram page, so this is all official, a teaser trailer for what we're going to see in the Age of Triumph, which is of course the newly announced content offering for Destiny hitting the game sometime at the end of March. Previously, so I think last Friday, all we had to go on with the announcement was like three pictures showcasing when these Twitch announcements are going to be. And actually, we only got the days and now we got the official time for when these Twitch reveals are going to be. So let's get right into it. Now guys, of course, if you enjoy this content and enjoy being kept up to date with the latest Destiny news, please remember to support the video by liking, commenting, and especially sharing. It's a really simple thing to do, but it really does help me out. So let's get right into it and watch the new Instagram trailer. And I will warn you guys, the audio isn't great. That's because Instagram audio is terrible. Like I just was recording this off my computer and it's just the Instagram audio is crap. Instagram is crap. Like it's just such a terrible site. All those stupid pictures with the red circles saying double tap to see more. Okay, that, that's a different story. That's a different story. But let's look at the trailer. Firstly, the picture for the trailer, that's Atheon. If you're wondering any more about the Vault of Glass, you can stop wondering. So, let's click play. You have led us to a new age, Guardian. An age of triumph and remembrance. Thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget. So, there we have it, and this new trailer gave me a little bit of a different opinion on what the Age of Triumph is actually going to be. Because, again, there was a lot of stuff actually revealed in it. Firstly, we got a big emphasis on the new Age of Triumph record book. It said, the biggest record book yet. So, bigger than the Rise of Iron, bigger than the Dawning. It's going to be, again, the biggest record book. And that means there's going to be a lot of emphasis on it. And that means the record book could be used as a vessel for rewards rather than the actual activities. And this would kind of get around, now this is speculation, but this would get around the tricky area of how do you update the Vault of Glass? Because obviously you guys saw in the trailer, like, we're playing Vault of Glass. There is no more speculation, there is no more, oh, maybe that's from the Eye of the Gate Lord, that picture. No, no, no. It is 100% they're in the Vault of Glass. But what are they actually doing there? Are they in the updated Vault of Glass? Again, most people would like that to be the case, but as I was saying earlier, could the Vault of Glass be the exact same thing? They haven't updated the light, they haven't updated the rewards whatsoever, but then they use this new record book and then have a bunch of challenges in it. Beating the Vault of Glass completely, just beating it normally, beating it on hard, etc. And then when you complete the different challenges in the record book, that's how you get your loot. Like, if you beat the Vault of Glass on hard, and you complete that node in the record book, then perhaps you get a new cloak for your hunter, or a mark for your titan, or a band for your warlock, and then that is a new loot item, and it has a Vault of Glass style of appearance, and you can infuse it up to 400 light. That is definitely a possibility that we as a community should be thinking about. Not necessarily expecting, again, that isn't confirmed, but they did emphasize the record book in the trailer and they've been pretty reluctant to upgrade the old raids until this point for about three years now. 
So that is definitely a possibility. This record book could also be used to just go back and do just a ton of different challenges that have been neglected. Just to give people, I guess, a reason to go back and play all of this content that they haven't played in a very long time. Going and beating the original storyline on different difficulties, perhaps. Again, they don't actually have to update that content unfortunately like it's kind of a cop-out almost i wish they would update that content if, if they aren't planning to but then you can do all of these other things do all of these stuff that you haven't done in so long and then complete these challenge nodes for the record book and then get loot that way uh that is a possibility and i think whether or not they upgrade those activities or not the record book is still going to play a huge part in the age of triumph in fact, this record book could be kind of a conglomeration of all of the record books and all of the activities throughout the history of Destiny. And we kind of see that from this screenshot here, showing off some of the different challenges. Cutting Edge, that makes me think of the sword quests. Doom of Oryx, you know, defeating Oryx. Uh, show Your Might, You're the Hero, Hunter and Hunted, Race to the Finish. Perhaps maybe we have Sparrow Racing making some sort of return. Again, this is all speculation, but it is definitely very interesting that it seems like the Age of Triumph is built around almost the same themes as if it was a Moments of Triumph. Like you had the Year 1 Moments of Triumph where you went and tried to do all of the stuff in Year 1, you know, beat the Vault of Glass, etc. Then you had the Year 2 Moments of Triumph. I'm actually wearing uh, the Year 2 Moments of Triumph shirt where you had to defeat the different um, activities, the different big things in Year 2. Perhaps this Age of Triumph content offering is kind of the year three version of that and it's going back through the years and instead of just having these different challenges that you beat and get an emblem or a t-shirt they've made it into an actual ac more engaging activity now all of that aside we did get the official announcement for the time and date of the next reveal again we did i guess know the date was going to be wednesday march 8th but now we know it's going to be at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the official Bungie Twitch channel. And we also see down in the very bottom corner that it requires Rise of Iron. That's very important because that means if you're on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, you cannot get the Age of Triumph because, of course, you have to be on the newer gen consoles to have gotten the Rise of Iron. This is, you know, it's expected. I definitely am not surprised by this, but it is definitely unfortunate for people who maybe thought that this was a free content offering and they could maybe get this and take part of this without actually having to have the Rise of Iron. No, it does say requires Rise of Iron. So hopefully that will clear that situation up as well. Now, before we end the video, there's actually one more thing I wanted to talk about. And this is, again, just more speculation, but it's it's fun to do. So, in the trailer, we saw the speaker having actually a pretty big role. He had some new dialogue. So, perhaps the speaker will play a bigger part in this Age of Triumph content offering. Not only that... It could be used as a vessel to finally do some proper storytelling. Bungie could kind of be going back and having new quests that are available to get from the speaker where he is doing the narration, where he is doing the explaining to things that were never properly explained in the first place. Like you might be able to go to the speaker and get a quest to beat the Vault of Glass and then you go and do that and that completes your record book node. But also, he, in the background, is explaining what the Vault of Glass is actually all about, introducing more new storyline elements and setting things up for Destiny 2. Because right now, the storyline in Destiny and what's actually going to be included for Destiny 2 is not really very well known. That is very murky water. Like, if I said, where would the story pick up in Destiny 2, you guys would be like, uh, <laughs> like, like, seriously, what's the answer to that? Is it after the Rise of Iron? And if so, you know, what are the other things are, are included? Like, it's very murky water because storytelling in Destiny was never a strong point. So this could be a great way for them to set up what is all happening in the world. 
and what's going to be kind of the jumping on point for Destiny 2. Like where in Destiny 2 are we going to start in terms of storyline? This is where they could set that up. And that's very interesting as well, I think. Again, if they do do that, this is all speculation. But the speaker having new dialogue does mean that he's going to have likely new quests involved with this content offering, which is good as well. Now guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and found it informative. Now if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. Now if you guys want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you actually want to be notified of new uploads, be sure to press the bell beside subscribe. Now if you guys want to get in touch with me, and keep up to date with the latest channel activity. The best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.